up this way. What's going on guys? Tommy the truck man. Weather's a little better today, so as promised, we're gonna go a little bit more in depth into the S13, the T14, and the new after treatment system. Here's the basic layout. Uh, I'm gonna have a picture of this on the screen so you can see it, but the after treatment system is right here behind these steps, nice and easy to access. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Transmission behind the block and block ahead of the transmission, imagine that. Um, they've done a lot of different stuff with this engine. Uh, there's no EGR cooler. Um, all the after treatment happens after the turbo. And it is one of the quietest engines I've had. I've got my partner up in the uh, cab there, gonna turn it on for us here just a second so you can hear just how quiet it is. And now just for reference, we have the hood up. I'm walking around outside the truck, just talking in a normal speaking volume and you should be able to hear me pretty clearly. Here it is, Heart of the Beast. Um, let's go over some of the key features that there's way too much to go over in one video so we'll just start right at the front um some of the new stuff they've done with this and a lot of guys will talk about how much technology is in their engine one of the cool things about this yeah there are some technological advancements that are at work but it's really basic number one point being there is no longer an egr cooler so if you see that little silver tube right there on cold starts and at idle this will recirculate some gas i would refer to it as like a hot gas recirculation um, but if your foot's on the throttle, that tube's not in use, it's cut off. 100% of that engine power is going to the turbo. From 370 to 515 horsepower, a lot of the parasitic losses have been taken out of the engine with the after treatment happening up here. So once it gets to that turbo, um, it's almost all the particulate matter is burned off. That means we don't have a 7th injector. There's no diesel dosing happening up here. We do have two DEF dosers. This is the first one in line that does come into play after the turbo as those hot exa exhaust gases are filtered back to the after treatment system under the, uh, the passenger side. Now, how do they get away with removing the DOC? 23 to 1 compression. This thing burns fuel more efficiently, resulting in a cleaner burn removing diesel particulate matter, which enables them to remove the DOC. So without the DOC, you're not dumping fuel in there to kind of pre-treat the exhaust gases and all that. It produces way more NOx, but a lot less DPF, or I'm sorry, DPM. And we're taking care of the NOx down there with the after treatment, not the particulate matter. So the engine can be an engine, take all the power to the turbo, and then we worry about that NOx a little further down the line. And that's the basic summary on, on where they're able to save so much in fuel economy. Um, not just the fuel economy, the engine's 10% lighter, not having that EGR cooler on there. Uh, transmission's a little lighter, a little more compact. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but lighter engine, you're hauling more freight, not more engine. Um, just to get to the technical side, just a little bit. It does have a dual overhead camshaft for more precise valve control. Um, a high pressure common fuel rail system like most diesels. This one is a little less. I believe it's a 1800 bar, which is about 23,000 PSI. So a little less than the 29K you're used to in most diesel motors. Um, burns incredibly clean and fuel efficient. Um, they will guarantee 5% better fuel economy than whatever you're running in a similar application. Uh, beast of a truck, just an absolute beast of a motor. Here's one little kicker, um, just to add to 
you know all the all the features and benefits of this engine um it was designed in partnership with the Trayton group um they own some other brands like volkswagen um, i'm sure you've heard of scania the swedish truck so the technology in this engine has millions and millions of miles um, both in European and North American testing. So I guarantee you purpose built for reliability no matter where the road takes you. All right, so this is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna try to get you guys a shot of this T14 transmission. Kind of hard to see under the cab, but you see it right there mounted to the back of the block. And you notice how much shorter and compact the design is um, with this transmission. So 14 speed, um, so 13 plus overdrive. Uh, two reverse gears and this transmission is fully synchronized buttery smooth shifts whether you're rolling through the hills of West Virginia or cruising I-10 from Florida to California um, it'll take perfect care of your driving habits now it is an automated manual which I know a lot of the old school guys are like I don't want to drive an automatic and a lot of the new school guys are like I don't know how to drive stick well this is both and it's the best of both. Let me explain. Using the predictive cruise control, um, the gear ratios are set up so the 13th gear is a one-to-one -one drive. Um, so it does help keep the RPMs a little lower. 14th gear really won't kick in until about 70 miles an hour. And that's your, uh, that's your overdrive gear. Um, how does it work? How does it shift, right? So there's no clutch pedal, um, but the clutch is electronically actuated. So the, there is the elements of a manual transmission you have your clutch you have your gear pack um, but it's all electronically controlled based on the speed of the vehicle the weight of the vehicle the load of the vehicle the grade of the road um, and, you know all those factors are kind of taken together by this newly designed transmission to give you optimized ship points lower rpm better fuel economy and power when you need it. all right it. guys let's see what it feels like to step into your brand new truck it, this is an rh in this case regional haul same powertrain is available in the line haul and the hx heavy extreme platforms we're gonna take a step up in here just just to go over powertrain features there's a lot of buttons the visibility is great yada yada that's not what i'm here to cover um maybe we'll do that in another video leave a comment if you want to see some more of that but uh let's go ahead and get this bad boy started How do I shift gears? I know that's what you're all asking. It's very similar to many of the automatics on the market right now. There's your stock shifter right there. So you just, let me get my foot on the brake here. Rotate it forward for drive. It's an auto neutral right now, so it won't, it won't actually go in the drive until I hit the gas. And then backing up, same thing. Um, just a quick note, LT and RH has two reverse gears. Um, the HX series does have six reverse gears for uh, the heavier uh, off-road construction applications. Alright, so parking brakes disengaged, we're aired up, the AC is on, ice cold. Here's your stock shifter, simply put it in the drive, and you're ready to go. As soon as you let off the brake, Truck will shift and start rolling forward. And we're off. Applying a little bit more throttle to it. Um, feels pretty smooth, um, even in regular drive. I know a lot of the automatics can be a little bit uh, jerky, and there's definitely a lot of parasitic loss with the manual transmission, but I'm gonna show you one feature. So you kind of see how, how jerky the trucks being right now as I come into the parking lot here I'm gonna apply the brakes bring the truck to a complete stop and this little turtle right here is maneuvering mode um, I'm not a scientist or an engineer I don't know how this works but once I push this button you'll see maneuver modes now turned on and then when I let off the brake the truck doesn't go anywhere press the gas ever so slightly and the truck will start to roll forward I mean just absolutely inching along making progress at zero miles per hour you can see 
how slow, steady we're moving. Um, there's no jerkiness to it, nothing like that. So that maneuver mode is designed to be used um, backing up to a dock, hooking up the trailers, pulling away from trailers, just to remove some of that stutter that you get when you're uh, trying to maneuver around a parking lot. It just make, makes your life a lot easier if you're having to, having to drive one of these things. And you can actually turn off the maneuver mode um, on the fly. So once you once you get done doing what you're doing, you click it over, it'll start to shift gears. I'm not gonna go very fast here, just take it up to like maybe 20. But I, I honestly can't even feel the shifts. They are that smooth and I can't believe there's actually a clutch in this gearbox. It's uh, it's incredible. You guys need to get a hold of me, come test drive one of these, see for yourself. But that's enough about the transmission. Um, hopefully I'll get the time to do another video about all the all the cool stuff that's inside this cab. But for right now, let's get to what everyone's been waiting for. The dreaded after freaking system. But on the S13 integrated chassis, you don't need to dread this any longer. Um, I mentioned before with the engine, the engine burns super clean. All the after treatments handled back here. We're not diesel dosing, we're just treating the NOx. Here's where the magic happens. So this is a dual stage after treatment system. And again, I'm not a scientist, I'm not an engineer. Um, I only know what I'm told. I couldn't build one of these, but I can tell you all about it. See the exhaust inlet here. And I mentioned before when we were talking about the S13 uh, power plant itself. So no seventh injector uh, dosing diesel into the system, but right behind here, when it enters the system, it will get dosed again. So there's two DEF injectors on this after treatment system. Um, the reason being where we've handled all the particulate matter up front with that clean burning engine. All we have to worry about down here is the remaining NOx that's left over and there is more NOx because the engine's burning cleaner and we're not doing any after treatment up there. So because there's more NOx we do double dose the DEF. Um, I have heard people say oh that engine it's going to use so much DEF compared to, you know, a traditional after treatment system. And yes, it does use more diesel exhaust fluid, but it, it's like 2%. I believe the number is uh, two gallons per thousand miles. So the increase really isn't that much when you consider all the advantages you get with your power plant up front. And we've covered there's more NOx. So the, the, the after treatment does have to work a little bit harder to take care of all the, all the leftover gases in there to meet the, the GHD 27, right? Serviceability. So serviceability is something we're asked about all the time here. Um, after treatment systems in general across all, all OEMs have just been notorious nightmares to deal with, right? So if you'll see this little valence right here with your steps, there are four bolts right there. Take those four bolts off. I don't know if I'll be able to show you the front of it. I can't. But there's a little canister right there. Just one canister, one filter. And it also has four bolts. So four bolts to get it, four bolts to swap it out. And don't let the competition know, but you don't have to clean it or change it for 650,000 miles. So we covered the engine. Um, we covered a little bit about the transmission and the after treatment. That's really what I wanted to focus on in this video. Oh, you know what? I forgot something. Let's talk about regeneration, because um, this is a big item for most fleets that relates to your downtime. Driver has to stop, engage the system. Mm, not really. The after treatment here actually does active regens while the engine is moving, while the truck's in motion. Um, there's no need to pull over and do a regen. If you got that one driver, you know what I mean, that can't even spell DEF, um, ask him the last time he did a manual regen on one of these. You heard me right. You don't have to stop this truck and engage a manual regen. Ever. Ever. Just keep going. You don't have to stop. It's gonna keep doing it for you. Alright guys, that's the new S13 engine with the T14 transmission, um, integrated powertrain with the new after treatment. I appreciate you guys tuning in, hit the like, subscribe, all that jazz. I'm gonna go take this thing for a little spin. Ward Trucks, Tallahassee, Florida, get a hold of me if you want to test drive your next two horse. And remember, if your truck's not working hard, you probably are.